Hi my friends, it's Miss Kate from School 1057 in San Marcos, California, and today we are going to be doing an M&M rainbow science experiment. For this experiment, you will need a plate, hopefully with a little bit of white space because we are going to be putting some M&Ms on the plate and we want to see the colors. Some water, I have mine in a glass with a water dropper just so I can control the amount of water I put on the plate at one time, and of course M&Ms. Now, to start this experiment, we first need to create a pattern. Does anyone know what a pattern is? A pattern is a repeated design. So for this design, we are using colors. So we need to repeat the same order of colors over and over again to create our pattern. Now, I already created a pattern that I want to use, so I'm going to show you each M&M in my pattern so that we can go over the colors in order of my pattern. The first color of my pattern is red. That's right, so I'm going to place the red M&M at the edge of my plate where there's still white space. The next color of my pattern is orange. That's right, so I'm going to put the orange M&M right next to the red one. The third color in my pattern is yellow, so I'm going to place the yellow M&M right next to the orange one at the edge of my plate. The next color in my pattern is green. That's right, so I'm going to place the green M&M at the edge of my plate. And the last color in my pattern is Blue, so I am going to place the blue M&M next to the green one to end my pattern. Now, if this is the order of the colors that I want for my pattern, what color comes next? That's right, my friends, red comes next because we have to start the pattern over. And that is what it means to repeat a design over and over again. We are repeating the pattern all the way around the edge of the plate. And so my friends, I would like us to count the M&Ms as we go around the plate. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and what's the next number? 20, that's right, and let's keep going. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, What's the next number? 30, that's right. And let's keep going. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I can fit 38 M&Ms around the edge of my plate. Let's go all the way to 40. After 38 comes 39 and then 40. That's right. So my friends, we have 40 M&Ms around the edge of my plate and let's check to see if we kept our pattern. First comes red, then orange, then yellow, then green, then blue. That is my whole pattern. So the next color has to repeat the pattern. So Next is red, which is the first color of my pattern. 
Then orange, yellow, green, blue. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And it goes all the way around until we complete our pattern. So you can just keep repeating the same sequence of colors for our pattern. Next, my friends, we need to add water to the center of the plate so that we can get the water to touch all of the M&Ms, but we have to do it nice and slowly so that we don't accidentally make the water go all over the M&Ms and move them because we put them around our plate in the exact way we want them. So I'm going to take my dropper, fill it all the way to the top, and start at the center of my plate. And I'm just going to put water on the center of my plate. And it's already starting to touch the edges. So my friends, this science experiment is going to show us what happens to the M&Ms when they touch the water. So we just have to watch the plate and observe what happens. And observe means watch to see what happens, okay? So you can see the water spreading all the way around and it's starting to touch all of the M&Ms. So I'm just going to make sure that all of the M&Ms are touching the water. I want to make sure it's touching all of the M&Ms. Just a little bit more water. And over here you can already see what's happening, my friends. What's happening to the M&Ms over here? The color is going away from the M&Ms and spreading to the water. Can you see that? So our pattern of colors with red, orange, yellow, green, and blue are spreading into the water and going towards the center of the plate. And that's because the water is making the hard outside of the M&Ms disappear. It's making it dissolve, which means that the color is bleeding into or spreading into the water towards the center of the plate where all of the water is. So let's watch to see what happens. You can see that it's spreading so fast, but why don't we notice what happens when it goes all the way to the center? Do we think it's going to reach to the center or do we think it's going to stay towards the edge like this? Now, I noticed that the water touched these M&Ms first, and so the colors are spreading faster over here than where I touched the water with the M&Ms last. Now, the water touched the M&Ms last over here, and you can see that the colors have barely started to spread. So that makes me think that the longer we wait, the more the colors will spread towards the center of the plate until all of the colors touch together. So why don't we just keep watching? Now friends, this part is a little bit harder, but if you move your plate a little bit, you can see how the colors move with it. So only do that if you're being super careful at home, but you can also just keep your plate exactly where it is and watch it spread all on its own.
So my friends, look, all of the colors are mixing together and all of the colors reached the center of the plate. Did you guys think that was going to happen? I almost thought that the colors would stay separated, but they all reached the middle of the plate. And you can see that the colors on the sides even started mixing together because the water is moving them around a little bit. So I hope that you enjoyed watching the science experiment. And if you have M&Ms and a white plate at home, you can absolutely do this experiment at home and see if your M&Ms react the same way as mine did and make a rainbow pattern, or if yours do it a little bit differently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.